From slave to convict to pope, St. Callista shows that there is hope for anyone and everyone. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. Callistus, who was born into slavery in the late second century. Seeing a natural intelligence in him, his master appointed him manager of a bank. A short time later, the bank failed, and Callistus fled Rome, but was caught and sentenced to hard labor as a punishment. Then, by the request of some creditors, he was released in hopes that he could regain some of the lost money. While trying to collect money outside a synagogue one morning, he was accused of insulting Jews and arrested and sent to the mines. Some time passed, and through bargaining between the emperor and the pope, Callistus and many other Christians at the mines were released and sent to live away from Rome. While away, he studied theology and became a deacon. Ten years later, Pope Zephyrinus, who had little formal training in theology, called Callistus back to Rome to be his advisor. Callistus soon became a powerful force in the church. He eventually was elected pope in 217, despite protests made by his rival candidate, Hippolytus. Not long after his election as pope, he was martyred in 223 AD. Although no record shows how or by whom, it is widely believed he was killed in a riot against Christians.